Hello! In this video I will illustrate the use of a pitch class set in the orchestral score for a trailer movie. It is my entry to the Spitfire Audio Albion 10th Anniversary Scoring Competition. The single source for this atonal orchestral composition is the pitch class set 517. The Albion product trailer is 1 minute and 12 seconds long. Watching the movie I decided to go for an atonal orchestral setting. Film music composers have written atonal scores and here are a few names. This musical idiom has become widely accepted in horror and science fiction movies. Structuring atonal music can be achieved with the pitch class set approach. I use the set prime form numbering system as introduced by Alan Forte. The explanation of this system can be found in other videos on this channel. And here's a warning before we start. The complex sounds in atonal music may turn out to be not the best road to success. For this relatively short cue I wanted a unifying musical element. In this case the pitch class set 517, shown here in the original prime form in the pitch class diagram on the left. The source set contains five pitch classes shown as yellow circles. On the right we see the transposed version of this set as used in the trailer score. This set has a number of properties that I wanted to use deliberately. For example, the subset of four pitches marked with green colors on the left form half of an octatonic scale. It is the subset with number label 43. Another subset is the augmented triad, shown in red, containing pitch classes 0, 4 and 8. My choice for this 5 pitch set was mainly based on the content of the interval vector shown here. Its 6 elements indicate the number of consonant and dissonant intervals in the set. Balancing the tension by picking certain intervals is a technique to create changing moods from the same source material. In the background we are listening to the strong and mild dissonances as implied by the seconds in close and inverted voicing, and the consonant intervals created by thirds, fourths and fifths. Note the maximum of three major thirds and the absence of the tritone interval. The high number of third intervals in the set allows us to build triad subsets with a tonal flavor. In the transposed set we have the D minor, A major and F augmented triad chord structures. The same set also contains two altered 7th chords, shown here. There is the well-known and frequently used minor chord with a major 7 chordal function and the major 7th chord with raised 5th. The latter is a common closing chord with suspense effect used in police series. The five pitches together may be written as an open voicing of an extended minor ninth chord, another frequently used closing chord. So, even with an atonal set as a starting point, we may deliberately pick tonal flavor subsets for coloring the movie score. In the score I used two transposed versions of the set 517. The roots are pitch class 1, C sharp and 4, the E. This yields an overlap with two common pitches 
I and F. With the harmony subsets we may create chord progressions. Cadences may have tonal or atonal flavor. We may use triads or seven chords. Let's start with a conventional triad 1-5-1 cadence in minor that I obviously rejected. A more suitable candidate with floating suspense mood is based on the two altered 7 chord structures. Next, I show a somewhat longer cadence with 7 chords from the two set transpositions. I aimed for a smooth voice leading with mostly stepwise motion in the parts. The two chords in measures 3 and 4 are in inversion position. We also need instrumental figures to create rhythm, groove and motion. Let's have a look at the ostinato string staccato cliché, the overused recipe for success. Here's a tonal flavor option. Even in a longer pattern, and potentially supported by basses in the lower octave, I find this lacking inspiration and freshness. And here's the next all-time winner, the syncopated 8-note rhythm 3 plus 3 plus 2, here as a groove pattern for a string section. Well, in hindsight, maybe I should have considered using this. Instead, I tried a different form of the syncopated 8-note riff. Here's the tonal arpeggio riff using triads. I decided on using other pitch subset combinations for the riff. In the score this riff is another unifying element, returning at different note durations. Also I needed a melody based on the set 517. And here it is. A melody with an opening, falling, rising phrase a mostly stepwise ascending middle phrase and a closing phrase that I did not use. Note the three opening pitches that were also used in the riff pattern and have become a sort of a light motif. Also note the octatonic scale pattern in the middle phrase. Now let's move on to the complete orchestral score. I decided to compose a fixed tempo music cue and used my film music tempo calculation tool to determine the best tempo for a number of movie scene hit points. The result is a tempo of 113 beats per minute. After watching the trailer movie and based on the imagery, I divided the music into four sections. The Minima Cup was created in Logic, using the Spitfire Audio Symphonic Sample Library. The stereo waveform shown here shows the four sections of this 1 minute and 12 seconds long cue, with two climaxes in the middle sections. The trailer movie with music cue is a separate video on this channel. Also, I wrote the full orchestral score in Finale. You may find this 4 page 35 measures long PDF score on my website. Here I present an annotated condensed score with the musical elements as discussed before. I've marked the four sections, the returning arpeggio riff, melody phrases and climax built up. We hear the four part chords in various voicings 
and the deliberate use of consonant and dissonant subsets. In this fixed tempo cue, time signature changes guarantee downbeats at movie hit points. The instrumentation is indicated in this six staff overview. The result? Well, my entry did not make it to the list of finalists. So, this video tutorial may also be considered a list of best to avoid techniques for success. Is it therefore better to stick to the safe and trust the trailer idiom? I don't know. Anyway, that is not what keeps my creative brain ticking. Still I hope that in this video you found useful information and compositional inspiration. Please subscribe to my channel or comment this video. There's more content on this channel and on my website. Thanks for watching. Thank you.